Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So we have preliminary patch notes now for patch 11.7 for Escape from Tarkov. We was all wondering a couple of days ago where these patch notes were coming because we knew the patch was pretty close and here they are. So I'm going to go through them. Now there's new things that have been added, optimizations, AI improvements, bug fixes, some of the things have been changed. Now for the bug fixes, I'm not going to go into them. There's just too many of them to go through. Most of them are of no real significance to us anyway. They're just things that needed fixing that maybe every now and again we've noticed within the game but don't really stop us from playing the game. So I'm just going to put those up on screen at the end. In fact, I'll put the full patch notes up on screen at the end when I finished blabbering on about it. So for this patch, there will be a full wipe. It's not going to be a partial one. They don't say that anything like weapon mastery will stay or anything. It just says there will be a wipe. So I'm assuming that everything is getting wiped in this one. Controversial as always, but they do happen every now and again. There are also looking to get this update out on Monday or Tuesday of next week so that would be the 15th or the 16th of April. So for things added into the game the SVDS rifle is coming into the game I already did a short video on this showing some of the renders of that gun. The renders look beautiful it looks a really nice gun. A lot of concerns about it though being basically just a 10 round Mosin so yeah we'll have to see how you actually access this rifle within the game. There are sniper rifles in the game but it's very rare that you see them be used it could be that the SVDS just falls into that category and it's one of those where you rarely see it. The Mosin is very cheap, readily available and I think that's probably one of the reasons why it's such a pain in the ass because anybody can get hold of it very very easy. The SVDS it might be a little bit different with that it might be a gun that's a bit of a rare one so hopefully it doesn't become the next Mosin. VPO 101M Vepper Hunter Carbine is coming into the game don't have no images of that right now hopefully we'll have some images of it very soon so we can get an idea of what it actually looks like. The DT MDR assault rifle is coming into the game and I think that is it for new weapons in this one. So we've got three new weapons but there are a lot of mods coming in. They say that there are new weapon parts and modifications. There are over 100 items in total. Now we don't have any actual idea of what these items are. We've got no like descriptions of them right now. Whether we will get one before the patch drops I'm not too sure but hopefully we might actually get some idea of what we've got coming in. They did do a quick showcase of some of the mods and some of them you could see on the M4A1 made it look really, really sexy. It looked really good. But yeah, lots of new mods coming. There's been some improvements for old quests and some new mechanics added to those quests. They've also added a new condition which is find in the raid for some quests. Now it reads, it means that it will count only found on the location, spawned on location or in bots, items that you pick up and extract with or save them in a secured container. Maybe it's just because because it's been a long week and I'm a little bit tired but I can't really work out what that means but yeah that's in the game anyway. They've added a third USEC voice so we've got another load of uh, USEC voices to go at. There's new and redesigned sound when interacting with interface elements. Access to the labs is now with keycard only. Again something that's been discussed before. It's just one of those things that happens now but keycards will be found on the scav boss and scavs at random and apparently you'll be able to buy them off one of the vendors for around 100,000 rubles was the price that they were looking at they haven't given any details on what price they have settled on yet but you've still got access to it it's just going to cost you there's new equipment as well there's new body armors rigs helmets visors and backpacks coming in there is a new 9x19 ap 6.3 cartridge and there will be round by round sks loading now i don't know if that means that the sks will just now be loaded round by round or whether it's something that you can select so for optimizations they say that they've fixed many issues causing freezing and stuttering this always seems to be the case but it never seems to go away hopefully it might go less this time we might actually see a difference in it i'm not going to hold my breath though because to be perfectly honest with you I very rarely see huge changes in freezing and stuttering within the game. I think it's maybe one of those things that needs the next version of Unity to fully eradicate it. I think these are just, you know, sticky plasters that they're putting on a gaping wound and it very rarely fixes the issue. But, you know, that might just be me being pessimistic and they might have actually fixed them. There's been many issues causing desync that have been fixed also. They've also cussed their optimised 
customs and interchange further. Interchange was one that seems to have suffered just recently from a lot of stuttering and uh, pauses within the gameplay, so hopefully that's been uh, eradicated now. They've also done optimizations of the rain, and they've done optimizations of AI behavior algorithms, and there's been some improvements made to the AI as well. These are basically center around bots getting stuck on things and not behaving as they should do. I've seen this quite a lot recently on labs where bots are getting stuck in doors or walking backwards through doors, you know, not acting like they should do. So hopefully they've been there uh, fixed now. And then for things changed within the game, there's a couple of interesting ones and I'm not going to go through the full list, but I'll go through some of them. So one of them is increased recoil of all weapons average of 30%. Now that doesn't sound good. That sounds like it's going to be something where you're going to have to really modify your weapon now to bring the recoil down to what we're used to right now. And you know, it, it, a lot of work's going to have to go into modding your weapons to get it to where you need it to be. I think 30% is a little bit too much in my eyes, but you know, that's subjective. That's just my opinion. Dog tags will now have a level number of the player in the lower left corner of them. So you don't need to open them to know what level the player was that you killed. Bit of an inconsequential one right now because dog tags are where fuck all, you know, before you knew if you killed a level 40 or above player, you were in for a fairly decent payout from that. Now you're looking at maybe 7,000 rubles. They're not really worth collecting anymore. Why they changed them and why they did that, I have no idea, but they made dog tags pretty much worthless. So, but yeah, they'll now have a level number in the bottom left hand corner. They've added the ability to get up when reloading from prone. They've updated mechanics quests, so there'll be new mods and changes that have been brought into the game that require his quests to be slightly updated. So I would assume that those are all the gunsmith quests. There'll be changes to the things that you've got to find in those. So for all those people out there that have got videos out helping people do the gunsmith quests, you might need to change those now. They've increased the chance of fractures from bullets as if it wasn't bad enough already. They've increased the chance of getting them now. They have also increased the damage to armor and helmets, which again is another one that I don't really understand. It's already very easy to be killed quite quickly by various weapons within the game, some more than others obviously, but shouldn't armor be protecting you a little bit more? I don't know, it, it just seems like that's a bit of a backward step, especially for helmets, because Nikita has already admitted that helmets don't behave the way that they should, they don't offer, they offer little to no protection and they're going to offer even less now, so I think helmets might become a bit of a, a bit of an old age thing now if this is going to be the way that they're going to go with the game, but again, the proof is in the pudding, we'll wait and see how they actually play out in the game. They've added new loot points into customs so there will be new cases and weapons items around that map so it'd be interesting to see where they show up. There's been improved quality of loot in the Kiba store in Interchange. There's been a few times where I've gone into Kiba store and it's been quite underwhelming. You expect a store that you need two keys for to have something quite magical in it and you've gone in there and it's basically just had a load of rails and you know worthless attachments so yeah they've apparently improved the loot in there and that is pretty much it for this patch as i say i'll put all the notes up as i go at the end of the video i'll put some music on for you guys and you can read through them but yeah some okayish changes there i understand that the wipe is a necessity due to the tasks being changed and things like that but there is a big debate going on right now especially on escape from tarkov's facebook page over why we should wipe you know for what is quite a minor update to be fair yes there's new weapons there's new quests new mods but on the grand in the grand scheme of things it's not changing anything massively so i don't understand really why they have to do a full wipe i'm sure that they could have maybe done a partial one they could have maybe left, left some of our stats in place and things like that but i'm sure that those guys at battlestate have a very very good reason for doing it so i will go along with it and yeah we'll see how this uh, patch pans out i'm looking forward to trying out the new mods especially for the m4 because that's you know one of my favorite weapons in the game and we'll see how this one goes as i say these are preliminary patch notes so there will be full patch notes that will accompany the patch early next week whatever changes are made in those i will do an updated video so that you guys are up to date on that i would think that because we're getting prelim patch notes now and the full patch notes will be out in a few days time that not too much will change it could be that a few things get tweaked and changed before they go in obviously putting down 30 percent increase in recoil has got everybody's you know everybody's talking about it so it could be that they decide to lower that you know they get a bit of community to feed back and maybe lower it so things like that could change but i don't see any big changes happening from now until then and that is pretty much it folks hopefully you enjoy the uh, music that i put on and you can 
have a full read through the patch notes. I will of course put a link in the description down below so that you can go and read those on Reddit if you so wish. And yeah, as always ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.